Hello, my people. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you're hearing my voice from. This is Mama Egweji greeting from my locality. Please give this video a like, share, and comment. Hit that uh, subscription button. You will see a place that is written all. Press that place so that anytime I post my videos, you will have a notification. Please share this video, like it, promote this video. As you do that, may God bless you all. All my so all my old subscribers, you're welcome. I really appreciate you people. You people are ba ba. The new ones, you're welcome. Thank you very much. And if you have been watching my videos, you, it has not touched you to comment, to share, or to subscribe. Please let it touch you in your heart. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And is there anything you want to talk about or you want to comment? Or is there anything you don't like or that you want me to talk about? Please say it in the comment section. As you do that, remain blessed, my people. So let's jump to the to the, today's uh, video. You are all welcome. Let's go ahead to watch this video. My people, I want to use this opportunity to say a big thank you to all Nigerians all over the world, both home and abroad, for standing out to say the truth. Yes, because we Nigerians have been suffering from the one we were born. It's just too bad. If you've not traveled, you won't know the height of uh, suffering Nigerians are passing through. Yes, if you are abroad, hmm, abroad will just open your eyes. Is it not the same, the same world that we are in? As a, as a, I mean, uh, as, a, as, a, as a visitor or let's say as a, an immigrant abroad, hmm, you have so many rights. The right the indigents have is what you have. Children here go to school without permit. Some of them go without permit. Unless you want your children to be in private school, then you pay. Hmm? Government pay women when a woman gives birth in the hospital. Well, they will ask you to pay something, but along the line, they will still give you that money, that, oh, I mean, that money back. Here in France, a woman gives birth when going out from the hospital with her baby. They will congrat or congratulate you and give you some money to take care of the baby, a reasonable money. Who of you in Nigeria has ever received such thing from that country? Eh? And why the politicians now are crying here and there is because the youth the lazy, the, the people they call the lazy youth have now risen. Yes, they've, they, they've, they've now said enough is enough. Eh? You say, you call them lazy youth, and now they said they are not lazy. Now you are crying for them to have stood up on their ground and said, no, we cannot take it anymore. I'm not uh, in support of uh, diluting the, the burning of uh, shops um, because those shops are being owned. Some of them are being owned by private uh, men and women, you know, entrepreneurs that borrowed money to open shop. And now the shops have been, uh, uh, or, 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 um, oof, the shops have been, uh, what do I say, uh, uh, burnt. It's not right. Please, my people, fight a just fight. Do not touch anybody's property. Don't touch, especially the people that are suffering as you are suffering in that country. People are really suffering. They borrowed money to open those shops. So do not burn them. If you have burned any, please stop doing that. We cannot be maltreating ourselves plus the ones the politicians are doing to us. You cannot train a child. Uh, to go to school to learn and when the child must have learned after school you don't give them work uh, in europe once it from day one the child is in school they are teaching them they started teaching them skills so many skills by the time the child uh, any child is out from school maybe primary school they know so many skills secondary school more than um, more than ever 
Then when they go to secondary school, they become pro. There's a woman, one of the, uh, you see, the, from the House of Senate or some of that kind that uh, was saying all sorts of things, like she went to school in London. And so what? Eh? Why are you talking like that to Nigerian youths? They are really suffering. The government are not taking care of them. All Nigerian money is going to their pockets. The politicians are just pocketing our money. They don't even care for the children that will replace them tomorrow. You want them to continue to be poor and you continue to be rich. No, it cannot happen. They are fighting a just fight. They are telling you that the youth need, need I mean, it to be taken care of. They need, your, they need job opportunities. They are right. Hmm? Is that right? Now, uh, going to River State, I just want to also to use this opportunity to, to thank all the youths, you know, the in, uh, indigenous of River State that stood on their ground to, to defend the Igbo people dead, to tell Governor Nwike that he should not do that to Igbo people. I know that Igbo people are loving people all over the world. Yes, they are. People are misunderstanding this uh, rest, uh, kind of uh, people. They welcome everybody. They come to your house. They eat with you. They dance with you. They suffer with you. Eh? They don't. They, they, I mean, they don't segregate at all. They are always in one uh, unity with other people. You see them even in your villages. They settle with you. Anybody that comes to settle with you in your village, I mean, the person cannot do anything against you. He cannot go do anything against you at all. The person loves you so dear, and so cannot cause havoc. Eh? All these things that uh, is happening in that country, it's not right. Governor Wike, the canon has been there for you, but has been talking well about you. And you say you're fighting Nandi Kano. How can you fight Nandi Kano that is your brother? Even if he has done anything that you do wrong that you do not like, why can't you talk to him? Why can't you dialogue it out with him? Why do you kill Igbo people? You say you're killing IPOP. IPOP are Igbo people. Please, so doing that. Those are your brothers. You, you are, an, you are an Igbo man as well. We are all from eastern side of the country. Is it because uh, now they cover uh, River State out from the old eastern state? Even at that, we are still one. All Nigerians are one. Eh? Please stop killing Igbo people. Stop killing your own people, your own brothers. So all those uh, all my, um, um, use of Portacourt, River State, I thank you people very much. I cannot even thank you people enough for standing for your brothers from Igbo land. May God continue to bless you people and protect you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. And then for our brothers and sisters from Yoruba land, please, we are one. We Igbos like Yoruba people. Whether you are a Muslim, whether you are a Christian, we are all one. Yes, we are one. I like the love Yoruba people and Igbo people share in Lagos. We've been living peacefully there. The hashtag uh, of 18, the protest of 18, everybody brought out uh, their people. Even if your people are not there, they start calling them, please come, oh, come and protest because of what the, governments are, or the, the government are doing to the citizens. If the government has not been, has been treating the citizens well, they cannot go out to protest. It's because the government has been treating the, the indigenous so bad, especially the, the SARS of 18. Killing people, you if you talk, they will tell you you can't do anything. Yes, because they have backbone, and their backbone are the politicians. The politicians forgot that it's the citizens that put them there. The people that you swear to, to protect, and you start killing them. My Yoruba people, those that stood and has been standing for justice for the evils, thank you very much. You've been saying it loud and clear that you people have been living peacefully with evils. Please, my people, let that love continue. We cannot separate from Yoruba. We cannot, even outside people are our people, we cannot separate from them. We are one. Anybody that stands for peace will live forever. 
God will continue to bless you people. We will be one. We want Nigeria to be one and we want Nigeria to be great again. We want everybody in Nigeria to enjoy that country because it's our fatherland and that is our heritage. That is where we feel happy. That's why the fact that some Nigerians are abroad, uh, some of them, they are suffering, they want to go back to Nigeria. Eh? But because of what is happening, they are afraid. Most of them lost their lives when they go visit Nigeria. Their own fatherland cannot protect them. But when they are outside the country, they get protected. Why is it so? So now, these are our politicians. Please wake up. Eh? Wake up. Wake up and do something for your country. It, you will be remembered. Your name will never be forgotten on, on, in this world at all. Anywhere you see injustice, please stand against it. Talk about against it so that that country will be great. Mm? Make that country great again. Please, all Nigerians should unite and make that country to be great again. I love my country. I love Nigeria. I love my people. One Nigeria forever and peace forever for every Nigerian. Nigeria, I held thee. This is Mama Egwedi saying, Nigeria must be better. Nigeria must be great again. Bye. Please subscribe to this uh, channel. Give this video a like, comment, and share. Hit that uh, notification bell. Once you hit it, please press where you see all. So that whenever I post my video, you will receive it. Remain blessed, my people. This is Mama Ewe. You say it. Let there be peace. I love peace to reign in my country, Nigeria. I love you all. Bye.